Hey everyone, welcome to yet another interesting tutorial on SQL order by versus group by statements by simply code. In today's session, we'll understand what exactly are order by and group by clauses and see how they are different from each other. But before we get started, if you're a tech geek and love watching tech videos, consider getting subscribed to our channel simply code to stay updated with all the latest technologies and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us go through the agenda for today's session. We'll start the tutorial by understanding what is SQL group by statement and see why we use group by clause. And then we'll understand what is SQL order by statement and why we use order by clause. And next, we'll see some key differences between these two statements. And finally, we'll understand the syntax and uh, look into the execution part in MySQL Workbench. So what is SQL group by? Now SQL allows the user to store more than one type and up to almost 30 types of data types in as many columns as required. So sometimes it becomes difficult to find similar data in these columns. Now group by in SQL helps us club together all these identical rows present in the columns of a data. Group by statement is used to group together any rows of a column with the same value stored in them on a function specified in this statement. Basically, group by clause is used to group the rows with matching values using the specified condition. Now, generally, we use this group by clause with aggregate functions such as count, max, minimums, maximum, and average. By the way, guys, uh, if you want to know more about the aggregate functions, make sure to check out our previous video on introduction to aggregate functions where we have discussed about these in detail. Now, uh, the SQL group by statement uses the split apply combine technique here. Now the different groups are split with their values and then an aggregate function is applied to these values of these groups and finally the values are combined into a single row. Now if you consider this example here, we have two columns and we have three different items uh, A, B, C having different values. Now you can see A has uh, two values 4, 7, 1, 3 and C has 9, 4. Now, when we split this and apply the sum aggregate function, which results in the arithmetic sum of all these row values, as you can see now, A has values 4 and 7. Now, when I apply the sum, it becomes 11 and B, 1, 3, it becomes 4 and C, 9, 4, it becomes 13. So, it will display all these identical rows having matching values and into a resultant set. So, in this way, you can use the SQL group by. Let us now understand the syntax of SQL group by statement. The syntax is followed as select column 1, column 2, up to a number of columns from table name where condition group by column name. Now the group by statement lets the database uh, system user know that we wish to group the same value rows of the column specified in the statements column names parameter. And you can also use, there is an optional where clause which can be used to specify any condition according to which the row are to be selected. Next, let us understand what is SQL order by statement. The order by clause in SQL sorts the data of a column in the SQL database. It helps us sort the column in both ascending as well as the descending order. The ASC keyword helps us sort in ascending order while the DESC keyword sorts in descending order. And if no keyword is specified in which we have to sort the records in the column, it will take the default value. The order by clause sorts the record in ascending order by default if we do not mention any specific uh, keyword that is ASC or DSC. Now the order by clause can only be for select statements and the order by keyword is used to sort the resulting table in either ascending order or descending order based on the column specified in the statements column name. Now another important thing to be noted here is that the order by statement always appear after the group by statement and is applied to the group of rows form. Now let us look at the syntax. The syntax is followed as select column 1, column 2 from table name where condition which is optional as per your requirement, group by column list, order by column name and you can mention the ASC or DESC keyword as per your need. Now that we have understood about both of these statements, let us now understand the differences between group by and order by. Now group by statement is used to group the rows that have the same value whereas the order by is used to arrange the data obtained in the resultant table of a query in sorted form. Now the group by is always used before the order by clause in the select statement whereas uh, the all order by statement is used after the group by clause in the select statement. 
Now in group by statement, the attribute under the aggregate function cannot be in group by clause. Whereas in order by the attribute under aggregate function can be in order by clause. That means if the group by clause contains an attribute that is not under select clause or if it is under select clause, but under uh, aggregate function, then the query becomes uh, invalid and it throws an exception. Hence, we can say the group by clause is always used in collaboration with the select clause. Now in group by, it is mandatory to use one of the aggregate functions like count, sum, average, minimum, maximum, etc. Whereas in order by statement, uh, it is not compulsory and mandatory to use the uh, aggregate functions. And finally, the group by clause controls the presentation of rows or tuples, whereas the order by statement controls the presentation of columns. That means the group by is only concerned uh, with the values of identical rows in the resultant set, whereas the order by statement uh, basically arranges the data in the columns in either ascending or descending form. Now that we have understood about both these uh, SQL statements, let us jump into MySQL Workbench for execution part. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So as you can see, MySQL Workbench has started. Now, in order to execute the group by an order by statement, we'll consider the data set of an employee which I have already downloaded from Google. So let me just import the data set uh, into the MySQL Workbench. For that, all you have to do is just uh, go to the Tables tab and right click on it and you'll find Table Data Import Wizard, click on that. Now it will ask to import the location from where you have saved. So I have saved my file in desktop, so I'm just selecting the uh, file. Now once you've selected the file, click the Next button here. Now it will ask if uh, to name the table whether to use the existing table or to create a new table. So I'm just taking a new table here, Employees1 and click on next it will display all the columns that are present uh, in that csv file so just click on next click on next and it will start to prepare the import now depending upon the number of records present in the data set uh, it will take a bit of time so don't worry now as you can see our uh, data set has been successfully imported so we'll click on next again so uh, it is showing that 49 records have been uh, imported successfully so let me just refresh the schema here and as you can see employees one uh, has been shown in the uh, table section. So let me just display the records that are present in these uh, tables. For that I'm using the select statement, select star from employees one. So as you can see our employees one table has employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, hiring date, job ID, salary, manager ID, and finally department ID. Now firstly, let us discuss about the group by clause. Uh, now let's say if I want to fetch the total employees in all the departments from the employees one table, then the following query would be select. Now I can take the employee ID to display the total number of employees because each and every, every employee has a different employee ID to their name. So select. count employee ID as total comma I want to display their uh, department ID as well so I'm taking department ID from employees table employee one group by Uh, now we want to group all their department ID, right? So I'm taking department ID. So let me just execute the statement and see the output. Okay. The table name is uh, wrong here. So let me just correct it. So as you can see, it will display the total employees that are present in each and every department. Now, if you look at the department ID column, uh, we have the values in a random way. Now in order to display in a systematic and a proper way, this is where we use the order by statement. So we can uh, sort the department ID values in the ascending or des uh, descending manner as per, uh, as per a requirement. So I want to display an ascending uh, order, so order by department ID. 
let us execute the statement and see the output so as you can now see that the department id are being displayed in the, in the ascending manner that is 10 20 30 40 50 and so on up to 110 so in this way you can use the group by and order by statements so that was all about the group by and order by uh, statement so this is just to give a quick uh, review on how these two statement works now if you want to learn more about the order by statement make sure to check out our SQL order by video on our channel uh, where we have discussed about it more in depth and with more examples as well and also you might have a doubt that when to use group by and when to use the order by statement now if you want to form the group of uh, the set of uh, records or the identical columns having values in them then you must use group by clause and in case you want to arrange the data of a single or a multiple column uh, with variable different conditions or in that case you have to use the order by to sort the data in ascending or descending order and that brings us to the end of today's session guys that was all about the SQL order by and group by statement I hope you found this tutorial useful and helpful and if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session Feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.